Hello. I'd like to do a, a short reflection on the theme of encouragement. Now, if we are ever going to see the church grow again, if we're going to make an impact on the lives of others, Christians have to overcome their fears of speaking out and reaching out to other people. Fear is the great hindrance that holds us back from showing love to other people. You cannot love other people without some faith and you can't exercise faith without a little bit of courage. You must get over your fears. Now, in our present society, people are very afraid to speak out their faith. It's certainly not easy to challenge or confront people and you wouldn't want to do it too often anyway. Sharing your faith with people, people can feel very exposed because they might get asked awkward questions and not know what to say. And certainly defending our faith against difficult questions is something that terrifies most people. But there are, there is one type of thing that you can say to other people that will nearly always be well received. And you can simply learn to do this because most of our behaviours are learned behaviours. So I'm going to talk briefly about encouragement and as a way of helping you understand what is involved in encouragement, I've got eight points and they come under the word pastoral. Each letter in the word pastoral will say something about what encouragement means. So here we go and I'll be brief. P stands for pray for people and tell them you're praying for them. That has a remarkable impact on people. Now of course you have to actually do it. You've got to be real and be honest. But praying for people, making lists, being faithful, praying for people and telling them that you are praying for them is a wonderful source of encouragement. S stands for asking. Ask people how things are going and then listen to what they have to say. Now, you know as well as I do that we can tell if somebody really wants to listen to us or not. And people are desperate to talk. Everybody wants to feel understood. It's vitally important. And if you can develop the skill of asking people how things are really going in their lives and listening to them, you will be a tremendous source of encouragement to them. S stands for send messages of support, including scripture verses. Now, social media has um, a downside to it, but it also provides us with wonderful opportunities to send brief messages of support, including scripture verses, whether it's text, WhatsApp, email, or whatever. Um, sending scripture verses is not preachy. If they're suitably chosen, um, a word in season can be tremendously encouraging. T stands for try to empower them. We ought to have a basic orientation towards other people of wanting to enable and empower them to be what God's calling them to be. To invest in their lives in a way that builds them up, that helps them discover their gifts, their calling, that encourages them to believe that they can accomplish things. So try to empower them. Don't tear people down. O stands for offer appreciation of who they are and what they've done. You know, let's not be afraid to say things like, you know, I noticed you speaking to that person at church last Sunday who was standing on their own and I thought that was very caring and kind of you. Express appreciation of who they are, their character qualities. Put words on it. 
and what they've done. R stands for Relay Positive Feedback. If somebody does something and you think they've done it well, go out of your way to tell them. Respond. When anybody puts themselves out, especially at the front of a meeting, they're hoping to get a response. So even something simple like a, a reading in church or a prayer in church, go up to somebody afterwards and say, I really enjoyed that. It was clear that you really had put a lot of thought into reading that passage with real meaning or your prayer really helped me to connect with God on the subject that you were praying about. Thank you so much. Let's learn to put these things into words and invest in people's lives that way. What is it that we are afraid of if we don't do that? A stands for attention. Pay attention to people's needs and when appropriate give them gifts. I mean, I'm a lover of books, so I often give people gifts of small books. But there are lots of other things that can be gifts like a card or flowers at appropriate times or a voucher or whatever it might be. But pay attention. Ask God to make you sensitive and alert. A could, all, could stand for alertness to how people are really feeling and what their needs are. Putting yourself in the other person's shoes. And L, of course, stands simply for love. Give people love and support, especially when times are hard. If you're not sure about getting in touch, get in touch anyway and be prepared to be rebuffed rather than not getting in touch and being accused of neglect. Pastoral. Offer people encouragement. It is the easiest way, the, um, the least fearful way of reaching out to other people. And um, it is an investment that reaps rich rewards and produces powerful dividends and impacts in other people's lives. So let's develop a learned behaviour of constantly offering people encouragement.